Good morning, students. In this class, we are going to learn one of the branch of the social sciences called here sociology. So, in that sociology, we are going to learn a new chapter called here family. See here, family. See, when the word family we use here and when it comes into our mind, the family, we know about our family here. And automatically, the family means nothing but we are going to think about our family here. So like this, and we are going to see many of the families in the society also. So number of families or living in this living in this society here and uh, through the family also we are going to learn many of the things in the society here and uh, it is also here one of the social institutions here the family is also one of the social institutions so we are going to fulfill our basic needs we are going to fulfill our basic needs here so through the family here see not only this family here so many of the other social institutions were formed by the man here and we have already known that here man has formed many of the social institutions see called here so we have formed hospitals so we have formed educational institutions and we have uh, formed many of the religions and we have formed temples okay so why we have all why we have formed all these social institutions is nothing but the main thing is here to fulfill our basic needs here see among these social institutions here so one of the most important social institution is nothing but that is family here okay and also family is the basic institution of the society also Okay, because we are going to fulfill our basic needs from the even society also, from the family also here. So, family is a basic institution of the society. And all the activities, all the social activities of the uh, what society. So, it was run by the families here. Okay, and also... Through the family, we are going to learn many of the things. For example, we are going to learn the social behavior. Because the family and also our home it is the first education center of everyone here. It means nothing but in our childhood, we have learned many of the things from our family only here. Okay. And because that's why we call here, which is the first education center of the Children means nothing but that is house only here. And who is the first teacher for the children means nothing but their mother. Okay. So that's why many of the responsibilities, many of the things we are going to learn from the family here. And we have know that this family, the word family derived from the Latin word. The word family derived from the Latin word called here famous what here famous then what is the meaning of this famous means nothing but to serve what is the meaning of famous means to serve family is nothing but here serving family means nothing but serving here so we are serving to society through the family here okay and also, these all the social, all the activities of this society are conducted on the basis of what here? On the basis of the family here. What? All the activities of this society are conducted by the basis of the society. Okay. And uh, we have already known that, uh, so in the society, we are going to see the different kinds of uh, families also. We have already known that here. Yeah. So, compared to the 
ancient society and also modern society here so nowadays we are going to see many a number of families different kinds of families we are going to see here for example matriarchal family patriarchal family and joint families and nuclear families so like this sir uh, the different kinds of families we are going to see in the society so compared to the ancient uh, what uh, generation so ancient uh, time or ancient society here we were seeing uh, many of the joint families here but nowadays so rarely rarely we are finding that uh, joint families because nowadays here everyone all the families are divided and uh, they living separately here so it means nothing but nowadays we are going to see nuclear families many of the nuclear families we are seeing nowadays here and also here this relationship of the family also here the relationship of the family is also a uh, family of the members is also determined by the how here determined by the kinship kinship means nothing but here blood relation what is here the relationship of the family members the relationship of the family members is determined by what means nothing but determined by the kinship it means nothing but blood relation then what is the meaning of this family okay automatically it comes in our mind what is the meaning of that family so when we think generally the meaning of the family means nothing but the living together the living together of husband and wife the living together of husband and wife with their children so with their children or without children for a long time with their children or without a children for a long time so this is the general meaning of the family here okay and also family directs what means the social behavior the family is also directs what here social behavior and uh, dressing and also rituals okay and uh, other issues of its uh, members members here and also other issues uh, of its uh, members it teaches it directs what means nothing but the social behavior to their family members here okay so this is about here family so when we come to the importance of the family here the family i have already told among the social institution here the family one uh, one of the social institutions called family is a, it is the one of the most important uh, social institution here so what is the importance of this uh, family is nothing but here the characteristics of the family or the importance of the family family see here family is universal family is universal so here family is called universal so why do we call family is universal it is nothing but the family is found in all the societies we know that family is found in all the societies here and uh, generally the members who belong to a particular family here the members who belong to a particular particular family they reside in the same place they reside in the same place and also share the same roof also here so when we see the particular members of the family they reside in the same place and also they they share the same roof also here so we are going to see the family in all the societies so because of that reasons we have called the family is a universal and also here it is the basic unit it is the basic unit for all social activities see here and every activities of the social every activities of the social institutions starts from the family here 
all the social activities uh, starts from the where here start from the family for example here political activities economical activities and educational activities so like this many of the other uh, what activities those all begin from the family here so that's why it is called the basic unit for all social activities here this is the basic unit because i have already told here all the activities of the society starts from the family here so because of that reason we call it it is a basic unit for all the social activities here and third one here so it is continuous responsibility continuous responsibility and social social accountability see continuous responsibility and social accountability here see here the family teaches family teaches its members what is the number how to behave how to behave and discharge how to behave and discharge the specific responsibilities here who the who teaches here means nothing but the family teaches its members it teaches its members how to behave and discharge the specific responsibilities here okay and also it trains uh, the family trains its children family trains uh, its children see how to live harmoniously how to live harmoniously with the neighbors how to live harmoniously with the neighbors and who trains means i think family trains its children how to live with the neighbors harmoniously with the neighbors and also it educates a few social responsibilities also to its children here and also with that it educates a few social responsibilities to the children so that's why we call it it is a continuous responsibility and social accountability here okay the fourth one is here bringing up see bringing up and nurturing so here bringing up and nurturing nurturing is something but here protect nurturing is something but protect here see and also it creates the family creates the way to nurture and bring up bring up the children and make makes them what here literate makes them literate the family uh, nurture and bring up the children and makes them to what here literates here it makes it means nothing but i already told it gives them education it makes them literate here okay family makes uh, its children literate here okay and also it is the duty of the family not only look after in the children and also look after look after in the old people also okay old age people also it is also one of the duty of the family to look after the older people here okay so that is that's why we call it it is a bringing up and nurturing up nurturing here family is bringing up and nurturing here okay nurturing is nothing but protecting protecting the children as well as the old age people also here got it so next one is here it teaches the social behavior also in the beginning only i told it teaches what here the social behavior and uh, children and also children learns what means nothing but its mother tongue children learned the mother tongue in the family here so we have also learned our mother tongue from our family here okay that's why i have told here the family is the first educational institution here for everyone here. okay for everyone and mother is the teacher mother is the first teacher to everyone here okay so we learn our mother tongue in our home got it and also 
we understand the social life and also children understand the social life around which is around us here through our mother tongue we understand the social life through our mother tongue also here okay and also children develop as per the social situation around the family here okay as we develop we develop here how is nothing but uh, as per the social situation around the family here according to the social situation we are going to develop children are going to develop here okay and the family teaches also here it teaches children about the ways of interacting with others how to interact with others so that also we are going to learn from our family here how to interact with the elders how to interact with the others and how to interact with the uh, what uh, children okay and how to interact with the other persons here understood so that all we are going to learn from our family the family teaches how to interact with the elders others and also uh, other persons here okay like that and also it teaches the social behavior i have already told it also teaches the social behavior so like here uh, friendship and afterwards uh, what here freedom security and during the childhood and adolescence and also when we talking about the adulthood and the old age so every uh, what age of the life it means nothing but every part of the life we are going to learn new things here we are going to learn the responsibilities okay social responsibilities we are going to learn in the, all the stages of the life here. okay this is here social behavior the family teaches even social behavior also here okay and uh, sixth one is here sixth one is teaches social behavior means nothing but how to behave with the society also or with the others also here and also it uh, instructs uh, it instructs uh, the tradition see family instructs the tradition so we have known that here family includes several generations here okay several generations for example our father and their father and their ancestors like that so there is there are lot of uh, many of the generations so that's why they told here family include uh, several generations here so for example here our grandfather uh, they form here first generation and uh, our father uh, form here second generation and we form the third generation and our children form the fourth generation so like this uh, so there are several families several, several generations that's why they told family includes uh, several generations also okay so in this way family teaches us what is nothing but the basic core of the traditions here we are going to learn the basic of the traditions how is nothing but through our family here got it so that's why they told here it instructs the what traditions it instructs the traditions which one instructs the traditions means nothing but the family instructs the tradition so these are the characteristics of the family here okay so what are the characteristics of the family means nothing but here family is universal and it is a basic unit of uh, all the activities and also here what continuous responsibility and afterwards social accountability and bringing up and nurturing and also teaches the social behavior and also here family instructs the tradition here okay these are all the characteristics of the family here and before in the beginning only i have told here we are going to see the different kinds of families also in the society let's move on the types of a family here so let's study about the types of the family types of family here and here the sociologists and afterwards 
anthropologists, socialists and the anthropologists here have defined, they have defined the types of family, the types of family on the basis of, on the base of the structure of the family here. See, on the base of the structure of the family, these sociologists and afterwards anthropologists have defined the types of a family here. Okay, so what are the types of family on the base of the structure of the family here? There is nothing but, first, uh, the family is formed here on the base of what means nothing but, on the base from the kinship. Based on the kinship. Kinship means nothing but here, blood relation. Kinship means nothing but, blood relation. Family based on the kinship. And uh, here, family the family based on based on the residence based on the residence of spouse see family based on the residence of the house so here the family is divided into two on the based on what here based on the residence of the spouse here the family is uh, divided into two that is uh, we call here Matrilocal, matrilocal and uh, patrilocal. What here? Matrilocal and uh, patrilocal. So we have divided the family patrilocal residence. We call here. What here? Patrilocal, matrilocal residence and patrilocal residence. On the base of what means nothing but family based on the Residence of the spouse, residence of the spouse, we have divided into what matrilocal residence and afterwards patrilocal residence here. And the third one is here on the basis of what means nature, basis of nature of authority, basis of nature of authority. Here family is classified, family is classified into two here again. What is that? Matriarchal, matriarchal family, and also another one is patriarchal family. Okay, the basis of what means nothing but on the basis of nature of authority. On the basis of nature of authority, family is classified into matriarchal family and the patriarchal family here. Okay, and also here on the basis of on the basis of here ancestry, on the basis of ancestry, again we have divided the family here or what on the basis of a, on the basis of ancestry again the family is divided into, divided here that is we call here uh, what patrilineal unit. On the basis of the ancestry, again the family divided into what here? Matrilineal, matrilineal family and a patrilineal, matrilineal family and upwards patrilineal family. On the basis of what here? On the basis of ancestry. So like this, on the basis of the what here, uh, structure of the family here, the sociologists and the anthropologists have defined the uh, what uh, types of the family. So that is, first I have told now here, family based on kinship and a family based on the residence of the spouse. That is, what here, matrilocal and a patrilocal and a based on the nature of the authority, matrilocal, matri Yorkal and afterwards patriarchal and on the base on the ancestry again it divided into two that is matrilineal and afterwards patrilineal here. So but uh, nowadays in the society we are going to see the three kinds of the society, so three kinds of the families that is uh, matriarchal family, patriarchal family and uh, joint family and afterwards uh, nuclear families we are going to see in the modern society here. So now let's study about what is 
मैट्रियोकल फैमिली मैट्रियोकल फैमिली हियर व्हाट इज मैट्रियोकल फैमिली मीन्स नथिंग बट इट इज फाउंड अमंग द नायर्स ऑफ केरला एंड सम ट्राइब्स इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट एंड वेयर वी आर फाइंडिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ फैमिलीज इन नथिंग बट इन द नायर्स नायर्स ऑफ area kerala nayars of kerala and uh, tribes tribes in the north east tribes in the some uh, tribes in the north east here they are also there they are finding this uh, matriarchal family and also in the nayars of uh, kerala they are also they are finding the what matriarchal family then what is this matriarchal family means nothing but the mother centered family system so matrial family means nothing but this is mother centered see mother centered family system see this is the mother centered family system which one matriarchal family here and here the rights of the property the rights of the property here belongs to the woman the rights of the property belongs to the woman where in the matriarchal family and the hereditary rights also moves uh, from a mother to his daughter here what the rights of the ancestry say the rights of the hereditary sorry the rights of the hereditary also moves from mother to whom here mother to her daughter here okay pass to the daughter from her mother okay so that what here right of the hereditary pass from mother to whom here from mother to daughter here where in the matriarchal family It means mother centered family system so where it is existed means a thing but the nayars of kerala and the tribes in some north east there we are finding this kind of a family okay so later we are going to see the patriarchal family so what is patriarchal family patriarchal family this patriarchal family is opposite to matriarchal family see in the matriarchal family mother centered family system but here patriarchal family means nothing but father is the head of the family here this is father centered family system father centered family system or he is the father is the head of the family here where in the patriarchal family so in this uh, family here married woman so married woman live in the residence of uh, what to their husband a residence of their husband it means that married woman comes to Our husband house there in this family, patriarchal family. And also in this family, the eldest son has the prominent role in the religious ceremony. So in this kind of family here, uh, elder son, elder son has the prominent role in the religious ceremonies here, where in the patriarchal family. And also these families where we are finding, we are talking about nowadays. they are trading in the ancient societies in the ancient societies where we are finding this kind of families means i think but see in the greece uh, in the greece okay the rome okay and uh, india and also china india and china so the ancient here we were seeing we were finding this uh, patriarchal family the ancient uh, places called here greece rome india and afterwards china here so there we are finding this uh, patriarchal family patriarchal family means nothing but here the father is the head of the family here okay so next uh, we are going to see the modern nuclear family here the modern nuclear family compared to the ancient uh, society here nowadays in the modern society we are seeing number of nuclear families here okay so third one is here modern 
न्यूक्लियर This is nothing but based on the structure and uh, the generation. Based on the structure and the uh, generations live together. So live together. Families are divided. Live together and families are divided as nuclear family, and joint family, and also what extended the family here. The families are divided into nuclear family, joint family, and afterwards. extended the family what based on the structure and the generations of the generations based on the structure and generations here and they live together and here the families are divided they are divided as here nuclear family joint family and the extended the family here and then what is this nuclear family so we know that here so it consists of father mother and their children father mother and their unmarried children children is nothing but here unmarried children as members as members and this is we call here nuclear family it is a small family also here okay nuclear family means nothing but it is small in size small family so here we are going to find uh, three or four members or five members fam five members family that is we call nuclear family nowadays we are going to see number of nuclear families here okay compared to the ancient society and here some of the uh, characteristics here some of the features what are the salient features of this nuclear family means i think but i have already told here that is small in size that is small in a size and here simple this nuclear family is simple social control simple social control third one is more freedom more freedom to the members more freedom to the members and uh, favors and it favors modern technology favors modern technology and the complexity see these are the salient features of the nuclear family what means nothing but i already told you this this family is small in size i have told only three or four members are living in this family so that's why it is small in a size and also very simple social control easily they can control here so it is very easy to simple social control here because this is the nuclear family here so easily they can control this family here and also more freedom to the members and they are having more freedom see if it is joint family means nothing but it is uh, tough so there uh, there is no freedom to the family members because they have to ask the elders okay and uh, because their uh, uh, ancestors and their grandfather grandmother everyone is living together huh? so they have to take uh, what uh, permissions from the grandparents okay like that. but in the nuclear family means nothing but uh, it is already small in size here and they are having more freedom here they are having more freedom where in the nuclear family that's why they have more freedom to the Uh, members here in this nuclear family they are having more freedom here and favors to modern technology here according to the i told you in the modern society we are going to see the nuclear family here and it also favors to what means i think but this to the modern technology also it favors to the modern technology which one here nuclear family also favors to the modern technology and also last one is here complexity complex means something but difficult okay uh, because uh, joint family means something but uh, so it is very safest under that one safest very safest but the nuclear families means something but only three or four members are living together and also it brings uh, some complexity also here which one nuclear family so these are the salient features of the nuclear family okay and one more family that uh, i have already told that is joint family also 
okay so in the, in the ancient uh, society uh, we were saying number of the joint families whereas in the modern uh, we are seeing many of the nuclear families and here joint family see joint family it normally consists uh, normally consists of uh, whom you have is grandfather grandmother parents okay and their children okay so like that it consisted here and uh, their children and uh, great grandchildren okay grandchildren great grandchildren so like a uh, number of people so many of the members we are going to see in this uh, family we are in the joint families okay nearly 10 or 12 members or 15 members are living together in a uh, one family here so that is we call here joint uh, family so but there is a nuclear means nothing but only five or uh, four to a maximum five members are living in the nuclear family but here means nothing but it is a 10 15 sometimes a 20 members also living in the uh, same family here so that we call here joint uh, family here and uh, it generally consists of uh, a group of blood relations here so generally it consists what here group of the kinship it means blood relatives blood relatives together they are all living in a one family that is we call here joint family then what are the characteristics of this uh, joint family here so how the nuclear family has some salient features here so like this joint family also having some uh, characteristics or salient uh, features and so what are those features means nothing but or characteristics the characteristics of the joint family first we are going to see here it is large in size it is large in size i have already told that there is the nuclear family small in size but here large joint family it is large in size because there only limited numbers are uh, living in the nuclear family but here so nearly 10 or 15 or nearly 20 members are living together that's why it is large in size the next one is here coordination coordination and cooperation see in the joint family means nothing but most of uh, the joint families we are going to see this coordination and also cooperation so they are going to coordinate each other and also they are going to cooperate with the other family members also in say for example in the festival time or in any uh, work uh, so they are going to coordinate they are going to coordinate and afterwards they are going to give the cooperation to the family members so in the nuclear families so there we cannot see more this coordination and cooperation here so but here we are going to see this coordination and the cooperation there means nothing but in the joint family here okay third one is here residence and kitchen residence and kitchen it means nothing but i have told they reside together in the same place here they reside it means nothing but all the members of the family reside in the same place okay and also uh, same place and also same roof here and also they prepare the members eat the food prepared in the same kitchen also and also they share the food what they prepare the kitchen here in the same kitchen so they eat that prepared food here together everyone uh, they are going to eat the food prepared in the same kitchen here because they are all living in the same place here and they are all eating in the eating the food prepared by the prepared in the uh, what family in the same family or in the same kitchen here what they prepare that they are going to eat here so that's why it is a residence and a kitchen here same residence and afterwards same kitchen here okay and later here religion another one is called here religion here see members of the joint family here believe in the what here same religion and practice they follow the same religion and they practice the same religion who the members of the joint family they follow the same religion 
okay they won't follow the different kinds of religion here yeah? they follow the same religion and also they practice the same religion so it is a center of traditions and also it is a center of culture you can say it because giant family means nothing but uh, in that giant family only we are going to see these all these all things here okay not in the nuclear family here so nuclear family means it is totally different from the giant family here so here we can see the religion same religion and the same practice of the religion also we are going to see in the giant family okay and uh, later self sufficient unit it is a self sufficient self sufficient unit here it means uh, it satisfies us it satisfies all the uh, needs of the family members here that's why it is called self sufficient unit giant family is called the self sufficient unit why is nothing but it satisfies giant family satisfies all the needs of the family members here all the needs of the family members so for example in the festivals time or in any other occasions here okay what the family members require okay that all the joint family gives them here so that's why it is called here self sufficient unit also which one joint family and another one is the structure of authority it is the structure of it is the structure of the what here authority which is the structure of the authority here joint family is the structure of the authority it means nothing but the senior members of the joint family the senior members of joint family is nothing but your grandfather grandmother so they the senior members of the joint family here are interested with the authority and responsibility they have the authority and responsibility who the senior citizens of the joint family they have the lot of responsibility and also authority here okay and also handling over the authority handling over of the authority is based on the seniority in the family and also in the joint family what we are going to see means nothing but handling the responsibilities handling the more responsibilities then who will handle the more responsibility in the joint family in something but the senior citizens of the joint family it means nothing but senior citizens in the joint family means nothing but grandfather grandmother they are the seniors okay or the great grandfather or great grandmother if they are means nothing but they will uh, uh, handle this uh, responsibilities here okay now after them here means nothing but uh, it comes to grandmother and grandfather if they are not means nothing but father and mother so totally the senior citizens of the joint family they feel this a responsibility which one means nothing but the, the structure of the authority and the responsibility uh, will handled by the uh, will be handled by the home here nothing but the senior citizens of the joint family so these are the uh, characteristics of the joint family what are the characteristics of the joint family means nothing but here this large in size and the coordination and cooperation we are going to see the coordination and cooperation in the joint family and the residence and the kitchen same resident and the same kitchen okay and the, they are going to follow the same religion and also they are going to practice the same religion and the it is a self sufficient unit joint family is a self sufficient unit and also the structure of the authority okay so the senior citizens of the family joint family feels the what your responsibility they will take they will handle the responsibility so this is about here family okay the characteristics of the family and also the types of the family and the, the characteristics of the different uh, families here okay so it means nothing but the family i have already told it is the basic uh, uh, institution of the society here so we are going to learn the social behavior and the social responsibility through our family here so that's why they told here the family is the the very most important among all the social institutions here okay hope you all understood this sir lesson called a family and go through the lesson again and again until you understand and do well in your exams okay